Australia is famous for housing some of the biggest predators and most poisonous slash venomous animals in today's day and age. Snakes, spiders, crocs, monitor lizards, you get the idea. Go to hell! Where do you think I come from? <laughs> Look into my eyes. I wanna see you die. The list of dangerous animals could go on forever. But what about dinosaurs? In fact there are two candidates, both of the same clade and very similar to each other, both big enough to count to the very biggest of Australian predators. These were Australia's Megaraptors. Australovenator and Raptor are the dinosaurian apex predators that once stalked Cretaceous Australia. Out of these two, only the Australovenator has been present in Paleodocs, namely Australia Time Traveler's Guide, when dinosaurs ruled with Jeff Goldblum and working with dinosaurs, among others. The latter two appearances were quite controversial, as Australovenator appeared as Allosaurus in both When Dinosaurs Ruled and Working with Dinosaurs. Wait a minute! You. However, this is explained by these dogs just being outdated, because Megaraptora was named in 2010, Australovenator itself in 29, while the dogs are from the late 90s. This might have helped Australovenator's popularity a lot though, as it is the first dinosaur to come to mind when thinking about Cretaceous Australia. The Australovenator has been placed within Megaraptora as a basal Megaraptoran, but also within the subgroup Megaraptoridae, while its bigger cousin Raptor is mostly placed within Megaraptoridae. Megaraptor as a basal Megaraptoran generally. Raptor for was named in 1932 by von Huene, but unfortunately von Huene never gave any etymology on its name, meaning we will have to do some guesswork. In medieval Latin, Raptor stands for violator. Other name meanings could be plunderer, thief or hunter, the latter two being derived from the Latin word raptor. The species name obviously means resembling Onifelestes. Raptor has been dated to 100.2 to 96.6 million years ago, Grim and Greek formation, Middle Cenomanian, Lake Cretaceous. Remains of a mega raptorid nicknamed Lightning Claw were discovered in Opal Feet southwest of Lightning Ridge, Australia, may well represent more material of raptor, which is uncertain though. It might also be a synonym of the highly dubious theropod Volgadosuchus. Scaling up from Australia Venator, Raptor would have been 30 feet or 9 meters long, which is immense for a Megaraptoran. Even though this size is highly controversial, by length, Raptor would be second within Megaraptora, sliding in just behind my. Even though we know a lot more about the Australovenator, with it being a Megaraptoran, it still is a mysterious dinosaur. It was named in 2009 by Hawkenal as Australovenator Wintonensis, meaning the southern hunter of Winton. Its fossils were discovered in the Winton Formation and dated to 95 million years ago. According to Gregory S. Paul, Australovenator is 6 meters or 20 feet long, with a body mass of 500 kilograms or 1,100 pounds. Because it was a relatively lightweight predator, Hawknall coined it as the cheater of its time. And I do agree with that in a few ways, as Megaraptorans, specifically the later Megaraptorids such as Australovenator, had enormous leg muscle, a long tail and long arms, making them both great at short bursts of speed and keeping balance. While not as fast as a cheetah, Megaraptorans would have most certainly had no problem going past 30 km per hour or 18 miles per hour. The Megaraptor de Arostin has been found with an efficient air sac system that would probably have assisted it in pursuit predation. Meaning Megaraptorans were not as fast as the cheetah, but were probably more enduring. Australovenator as a Megaraptor would probably have had such a system too, while the more basal Raptor might have had a less developed breathing system. Let's speculate on Australovenator and Raptor's claw size by scaling up from Megaraptor. If Megaraptor was 8 meters in length and its claw was 30 centimeters or 12 inches in life, Australovenator's claw could be up to 22 centimeters or 9 inches and Raptor's claw about 33.75 centimeters or 13.5 inches in length. Take that information especially for the more basal Raptor with a grain of salt. But also note that there is keratin sheets in the claws of Megaraptor that are not fully present in its fossils, which means the keratin sheets would have made Megaraptor's claws even bigger in life. Megaraptors were not only fast but also swift, not only explosive but also enduring when chasing down prey, not only housing sharp teeth but also giant and sharp hand and foot claws. As these are mid-sized predators interested in 
eating human sized prey. Encountering them would be the ultimate nightmare if you and I traveled back in time. If you want to know all the ways a Megaraptoran could kill you, you can check out the video about the Megaraptor I did a few weeks ago. Anatomically, we do know quite a lot about them, as just mentioned, but taxonomically, Megaraptorans are generally a big mess. Wandering around from Dromaeosauridae to Spinosauridae to Cacrodontosauria to Salurosauria and Tyrannosauroidea. I'm gonna use the 2022 cladogram here, showing Megaraptorans as Salurosaurians. Well, now we already know about the hunting tools, anatomical features, taxonomy, size, etc. But what about the dinosaurs that would have lived alongside our Australian Megaraptorans? Raptor has been found in the Grim and Creek formation, which is also known for some monotreme mammals. Dipnoi and Actinopterygii fish. The crocodiliform is Isphordia, an Anhanguarium pterosaur, and some dinosaurs, including the Pharopods Raptor, and the aforementioned Valchidosuchus. On nephopods such as the Rhabdontomorphostoria, the Neonifiscian Fulgoropharium, the nephopod Weberosaurus, and some indeterminate dinosaurs, including an Ankylosaur, Noosaur, Megaraptoran, Sauropod, and Enantionifis. Australovenator is home to the Winton formation, but some fossils from the Umarala formation might also belong to this dino. Let's go with the Umarala formation first. This formation is a bit older, with fossil contents being from the Aptin and Albion stages of the late stages of Lower Cretaceous Australia. It is known for the Langfish Ceratodus, Monotremes, a Myolani formed turtle, and an indeterminate pterosaur, Plesiosaur and Mesoeu crocodilian. Dinosaurs include the inefficient Leilinosaura, Dilovicursor, Atlascopcosaurus, potentially Galeonosaurus, and an indeterminate Ankylosaur. Now it gets really confusing as the pharopods include the Solurosaurian Timaimus, an indeterminate Lephrosaurian and bird and potentially Megaraptor, Australovenator and a third Megaraptorid. These three Megaraptorans must have looked at each other as if they couldn't differentiate who's who. Lastly, the also famous Winton formation shoots its shot as it's known for the Actinoterygii and Dipnoi fish, an indeterminate Varanoid, the Crocodiliforms Isisphordia and Confractosuchus, as well as the Pterosaur Pharaoh Draco. Dinosaurs include the Australovenator and another indeterminate Megaraptoran, sauropods such as the Wintonotitan, Australotitan, Savannosaurus and Diamantinosaurus, and on efficient such as the Onifopod Wintonopus and the Amblydactylus. Another reason the Winton formation is so famous is the so-called dinosaur stampede, where some predators, probably Australovenator and others, hunted down herbivores, namely Wintonopus, with the footprint still contained in the lark quarry. If you're interested in that, just type dinosaur stampede on YouTube and check out PBS Eon's video on it. In conclusion, Raptor and Australovenator would have been some of the biggest predators to ever live in Australia. They were both small and big game hunters, who specialized not only in stealth, but also in pursuit predation, using their enormous weapons weapons to haunt Cretaceous Australia. That's it for the video about the Cretaceous Australian Mega Hunters. Smash the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And also check out Twitter and Instagram, links in the description. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Mega Raptor out. Bye, have a great time.